TPMS means Tire Pressure Monitoring System. It's a warning light on your dashboard that comes on if your car tires don't have the right amount of air. The light might also show up if the system needs to be recalibrated. Many drivers find that the TPMS light keeps flashing even after they've filled their tires to the correct pressure. This video will show you how to reset the TPMS light on different car models. Please subscribe and let's get started. Direct and Indirect TPMS before resetting the TPMS system, it's important to know which type your car has. There are two main types, direct and indirect. A direct TPMS uses sensors on the tire's valve or rim to measure tire pressure and send the data to the car's computer. These systems can sometimes fail in bad weather and are more common in cars made for the United States. An indirect TPMS, on the other hand, uses sensors in the ABS brakes or on the wheels to monitor how fast the tires rotate. Since underinflated tires spin faster, this system can detect changes. Indirect TPMS is typically found in European cars. How to reset a tire pressure light? Make sure you have the correct pressure. Before resetting your TPMS light, it's essential to check that your tires have the correct air pressure. Use a tire pressure gauge to measure the pressure and inflate each tire to its recommended PSI. After that, deflate the tires completely, then inflate them again. Finally, Drive your car for a few minutes at around 15 miles per hour to manually recalibrate the system. Drive at 50 miles per hour. One of the simplest ways to reset the TPMS light is to drive your car at 50 miles per hour for about 10 miles. After confirming that your tires have the correct air pressure, the sensors will recalibrate automatically. Some cars might need you to drive faster, and using cruise control can help maintain a steady speed. Keep in mind though, that this method usually works for vehicles with an indirect TPMS system. Use the car's TPMS reset button. If your car has a direct TPMS, you'll likely find a reset button under the steering wheel, though its exact location can vary by car model. To recalibrate the sensors, check your car's manual to locate the button. Then, insert the key into the ignition, turn on the battery, but don't start the engine, and hold the reset button for about three seconds or until the TPMS light begins to blink. Start the car and drive for 20 to 25 minutes. Once done, turn off the ignition. In newer cars, this reset option might be found in the car's menu instead of a physical button. Remove and reconnect the car battery. Sometimes a car's onboard computer can experience glitches, and resetting it is often the best solution. To do this, open the hood and locate the battery's negative terminal. Disconnect the negative terminal, then press the horn to release any leftover power. After that, reconnect the terminal. This process should clear any issues, including the TPMS warning light. Use a TPMS reset tool for your vehicle. There are various TPMS reset tools available, and you might need one if the sensors have lost their information and need to be reprogrammed. Using a TPMS reset tool often makes it simple to turn off the TPMS light with just a click. Another option is to use a diagnostic scanner, like a high-quality OBD2 scanner, to reset the light. Always ensure the tools you choose are compatible with your vehicle before buying them. Damaged sensors. If none of the earlier methods solve the problem, it could be because the sensors are damaged and need replacing. Sensors can be harmed during tire changes, brake repairs, oil or filter changes, or even routine tire servicing. They also have built-in batteries that run out after a few years. Depending on your car's make and model, you might need to try specific methods to address the issue.